The Dayu Willow Wong. Hello. Family, friends, colleagues, citizens of Canada. My name is Shannon Thunderbird, and this is number nine of my Garage Lodge sharings. Uh, the other eight are on YouTube, in case you're interested in viewing. I um, haven't actually recorded one for a while, and all the time that I have not recorded, uh, many, many things, dramatic things, have happened in our world. And I, I felt it was time maybe I should do another one and talk a little bit about the medicine wheel, because I am a medicine wheel teacher. I wanted to show you, sort of up close, I hope you can see this, but that is a real medicine wheel. It's actually Bighorn, and um, it is located in Wyoming. It is 80 meters across, and uh, it is considered the largest of the medicine wheels that have been discovered. And uh, it is also reputed to be about 3,000 years old. Down here, I am showing you what a 40 stone medicine wheel looks like, and that the wheel is based on the four directions, east, south, west, and north. And within those four directions, basic uh, knowledge appears. Uh, and they, it's, it's very logically set out so that you can see, I'm just gonna back this up just a little bit so I can point it out, that when you're looking, for example, in the east, the east is the direction of the warrior. You know, this is warrior for peace. This does not mean guns and knives and wanton and abandoned killing. That's not what we're talking about. The south down here is the healer. Uh, by the way, we are all these four, these, these four descriptions. And the healer, of course, is self-explanatory. It is somebody who shares and somebody who cares, looks after others, often puts uh, themselves behind the looking after of other people. Uh, over here, we have the visionary. The visionary is the dreamer in the West, and, in, and that is the element of fire. The healer, by the way, is the element of earth. The warrior is the element of air. And so, you know, the dreamer is, well, that's what I am, actually. I'm a, I'm a, a major dreamer. I had some really, really interesting ones last night. And uh, the one that sees things and feels things and feels change coming out of the elements of fire. Remember, out of the ashes of fire becomes new ways of thinking and being. And in the south, we have, as you can see, the, let me just show this up here a bit. In the south, we had, oh, did I say that? Yeah, and in the north, I'm sorry. And in the north, we have the teacher. We are all teachers in some way or another. Even if it is just showing a child how to tie her shoelaces, that's teaching. And that's why it's always very important never to underestimate what it is that you know. Because, and it matters not your age. It meant some of my greatest teachers are under the age of 20. So those are the four main, you know, directions. And also within each direction, other than the, the four, uh, water, by the way, is in the north. So that's earth, air, fire, and water. Also under each one, we have, for example, in the south. Now this is straight geography, people. The black race. In the west, we have the red, red race. In the north, we have the white race. In the east, we have the yellow race, the Asian people. And we come together in the middle to that middle stone, which says individual. In other words, equality exists all across and around this wheel. And within this wheel, and this was a 40 stone one, and I've built many of these uh, here and there in schoolyards, etc. And we have in the, over here in the West with the dreamers, we have knowledge such as humbleness and balance and imagination and dreams and intuition and true faith. And in the North, we have honor and respect 
perception, inspiration, security, trust, integrity. In the East, we have leadership, courage, good, and the fact that we are good enough exactly as we are, that's self-esteem. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And then we have the peacemaker, we have communication, we have right action and justice. In the South, we add responsibility. And in the South, we have loyalty and patience and sharing and caring and hope, renewal, abundance. So you can see that there is a logic in how that knowledge rests within each direction. Now this knowledge is not old because the words I've used, you understand them, right? You, are, you understand what I'm saying. You understand what integrity means. You understand what respect means. And respect, I think, sometimes is just the biggest one of all. It's not a question of where we were born and where we came from. It is not a question of color. Our world is color. Everything is about color. Think about it. And so when we look at another person, we see a color. Is there a problem with that? It's a color. The individual is still sitting here in the center. These are important things. This is a very, very short version of, of stuff that I've been studying for, you know, pretty much 50 years, I guess. And, you know, when we're looking in the center, what is surrounded by this? We have Father Sky. We have Grandmother Moon. We have Grandfather Sun. We have Mother Earth. Oh, and by the way, they're, they're married, right? You know, Father Sky and Grandmother Moon are married. You know, and, and actually the reason they get along so well is that they don't see each other. Totally works for me. <laughs> and Sun and Earth work together. We also have the four realms of human existence. In the South, we have our spirits. That goes down here with the healer. In the West, we have emotions. In the North, we have the mind, the teacher, the mind. And in the East, we have the physical body. So we each have those four things. And our job on any given day is to try to balance these things. Now, I know how hard it is in the middle of a pandemic and in the middle of uh, racial tension in the middle of people accusing each other of all manner of things without actually having knowledge, uh, such as the folly of Facebook, and making judgments without knowledge, without learning why it is you are saying these things, and hurting another person when you do not have the facts or the knowledge. We have to be very careful about that because that's not what the medicine wheel is about. The medicine wheel is about understanding. It's about knowing who each of us is in this massive continuum. continuum. Knowing this, it is important work. It is important evolution of the human spirit as we walk our earth walks. Are we, as the old people say, walking our earth walk in a good way? Does that mean you're showing respect for all? That you are trustworthy? That you are an honorable person? That you believe in loyalty? You believe in hope? You believe in faith? All of these things that bring people together or should be bringing people together. Good communication asking the questions, listening. Oh boy, we do not listen. And Facebook is basically a sound bite. And so you see people raging away, blaming somebody for something else that they really have little knowledge about, and it becomes a sound bite. And it's soon lost in the myriad of more Facebook um, entries. Is this how we intend to live our lives? As little sound bites, Whatever the media wants to say to us, whatever Facebook wants to say to us, whatever Instagram wants to say, is our life really a sound bite? I don't think so. But it requires time, it requires listening, and it requires deep knowledge 
and that knowledge only comes from your own willingness to learn and to listen. I am very sad for what's happened in the United States. They are in chaos. There is no leadership. But what we need to do is have leadership of ourselves, of our communities, of our families, of the people around us, and exercise good judgment and exercise over here in the East the fact that we are good enough exactly as we are. That we believe, in, that's also in the East, taking right action. And rather than react with sound bites, you react with knowledge, with good thinking, with intelligence, with song, with dance, with art. There are some beautiful things on Facebook, but they are lost right now in the myriad of hate that is being put on this thing, this so-called communication entity, and it's not. It's breeding hate. Find out for yourself before you make a judgment. I am at the moment having a new website being built for me, and it'll be ready uh, towards the, the end of June, and when it is, I will let you know because I have a lot of information on the site about the medicine wheel and how we go about understanding the directions. It's very important. So I'm going to do a, a call and response song. This is, I want you to do, is I want you to just repeat whatever it is I say, okay? Let me just back up here a bit. Whew, goodness. I don't know if you noticed, but I actually tidied up the garage. It just about killed me, but I did. <laughs> this is in English. On your drums, four more times. Two, three, four, one, two. Three. What does self-esteem mean? Feel good about myself. Freedom to a work day. Freedom to.
disengage Freedom to interplay Freedom to ricochet Freedom to liberty Freedom to break away Freedom to have our say In a good way In a good way Freedom to have our say In my language, will Gusko how new? I speak wisely. Kamska how new? I speak softly. Kam gut how new? I speak kindly. Stay safe. Look after yourselves and be kind. All will be well.